believe was on stream round one playing his scumless versus John. John Chan uh, is the 2016 Canadian Nationals champion of Imperial Salt, actually. And he's playing a rebel list. Now, we're going to get VJ after he starts the round. He's um, just making sure everybody's getting set up here. Uh, I think after he starts the round, he's going to come join me for commentary on the last round of today's store championship. So, uh, thank you again, everyone, for watching. We will be cutting up these videos and putting them on afterward on our VTTV Live YouTube channel, so you can watch them as your le at your leisure. But uh, we're about to get ready, right? Yeah. For the so, start of the round, so we're gonna get. Okay, guys, start, start the round. Sixty-five minutes. All right. All right. There we go. So I was uh, telling the stream uh, that John was the 2016 Canadian Nationals yeah. winner for Imperial Assault. And he uh, kind of uh, he kind of sets the tone for a lot of the uh, meta, if you want to call you want to use that word, which most people hate that word because he usually <laughs> you say it so much. Well, it's funny. He usually comes out with uh, whenever the new stuff comes out, he tends to come out with the cool stuff, yeah, like the cool combinations. So he like discovers them. He discovers them, and then he brings them to tournaments and kicks people's butts with them, and then we kind of try to do the same thing. Look at those paint jobs. Wow. Dude, those are awesome. What, the jumpsuits on the... Man! Is that Hera? The Hera is in So the he's got... What he's got is... He's got a Joker painted oh, I see scum... That uh, sorry, uh, Smuggler, which is at the top. Right. Yeah. He's got a pimp painted Gideon in the purple uh, suit jacket there. Uh, he's also... Yeah, he's got Hera. He's got Luke. He's got... Uh, he's got Chopper. C-3PO, another, looks like another uh, smuggler, mm -hmm. and then three um, elite, uh, uh, slipped my mind, uh, ra uh, rangers. And so I was uh, I was saying earlier that Kit, Kit we had his uh, list on stream, I think, round one. Ah, that's right, yeah. yeah. Which we, yeah, he did a really good job with the, uh, with kicking some butt with um, IG-88. So the, uh, the objective is reconnaissance. Oh, I hate this one, man. <laughs> I think we had this for the regionals. I remember, remember yeah. seeing this mission. This is the one that where you have to place the cameras. That's right, at right? the end of the and round. Then, and then whoever they have line of sight on, I think you get some uh, points. That's you correct. You to the number of enemy figures that are in line of sight of those That's cameras. right, and it's only one per figure. So if the figure's in the line of sight of three cameras, you're only getting the one point. So you can only, get the, you can only claim the figure once. You see what John's doing right now? He's using Hera's ability, which is at the beginning of the deployment, you can actually move your characters up one uh, one movement point. So it's so interesting you that kind he's... kind of see what your opponent has done. Yeah, so it's, it's interesting. Readjust, it's, right? it's probably underused right now, but it's probably better than people think it is. Because look at what he's doing. He's basically shoving everybody forward one space, which is kind of cool because it gets you one space closer to things. And what I find, Vic, is when you play this game, yeah, you get so frustrated because you need that damn extra one point to get somewhere off the beginning of the, uh, one movement point at the yeah. beginning of the game. Yeah, we started already. So the players are both shuffling their already. commandos. Yeah, at, you're at 62 right now. Oh, yeah. I love how Jabba's turned backwards. <laughs> What's that about? His I mean, ultimate funny, disrespect. Well, the funny thing about Jabba is he technically, like, he can move, but you yeah. don't really ever really, you don't really want to use move him. So a lot of times, some of these maps, he's stuck in a corner. Right. Uh, it's kind of funny. But what's also interesting is some maps that are not in the current rotation of three, um, it's, it's, you, Jabba is sometimes the deployment zones are too vulnerable for a Jabba. Right. And it's kind of annoying. You're like, oh man. Oh, so he moved his first smuggler yeah. up. Wasting no time opening that door. There. No. And that's these these guys are good doormen, right? Now, did they remember points. to deploy their cameras? Or? Uh, end of round. So uh, for the first round. round, it's nothing. And then end of round, it'll be deploy the cameras. Well, no, during. Oh, they claim. I see. Yeah. I see. So at the end of the round. And then, right, so I think one of the advantages. Um, one of the advantages is that he's got these smugglers that are just two-point bums, and you could, at the end of the round, run one of them in and get an easy camera placement. I think John's thinking that for sure. Other than maybe the fact that he's going to have Luke 
and and be able to just walk in and do some damage there and then just drop a camera. Yeah, it's funny what uh, what Matt, I see what you're saying, Matt, is that really the only advantage was you got to move Luke up and the smuggler up one, right? Because you're right, otherwise he could have put all those figures in the same deployment spot. But still kind of a cool concept. And so he's moving, uh, he's using Gideon to uh, focus Luke and move Luke up to Pimp Gideon, that is. Look at Pimp Gideon's got a gold gun, by the way. Man, man I, with a golden gun. Dude, I'm sorry. I'll be right back. I got a yeah. picture of this. It's okay. too nice. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, King Chip, I, I think to me maybe it's just he maybe deployed super conservatively just to see whether or not how how uh, Kit would, would have deployed his, his units and then using the advantage of Hera uh, redeploying that way. Sorry, I had to. Too good. Okay, so yeah, he, he just said to me too that is he he repainted that Gideon because his uh, his other Gideon was or his previously was worn out from use. So it goes to show you what champion John Chan uses in his list very often. And there's three peels focusing up that Alliance Ranger, and he's moving into the middle of the Alliance Rangers. Okay, I'm glad he didn't do that, because I'm thinking, why would he put them too far back there? So, this was a map we saw in round two. Yeah. Uh, with the terminal setups. Of course, last time uh, we had the security stations, which dealt the damage. Um, we saw that, uh, I think it was... I forget I'm blanking yeah. on his name, but he was the Imperial player was uh, was effectively oh, Nutter, using yeah. yeah was it Nutter was effectively using the central corridor yeah uh, and sort of the door on his side on the on the right side of the screen to yeah. sort of control um, how how his opponent advanced. Now, what would you say is different about this setup? Now instead of like dealing damage, it's simply line of sight. Right. You know, so in this situation um, now, you have to try to get your play, your figures over to their side so you can drop a camera and get points. What I can tell you is that I'm pretty sure, I know John well enough to know, that he's got Son of Skywalker in his hand. And the reason I say that is because he opened up that door with a smuggler. He's got Luke nice and pounced, ready to go. And he's, a, he's confessed to me in the past that he will never move Luke up unless he has Son of Skywalker. So he's definitely itching to get up there, so I'll be surprised if he doesn't have it. But to get back to your question about the difference is... Now you do want to try to engage to be able to get the uh, you know to get the damage in there. Now it looks like um, his it looks like maybe Chopper did his ability and gave the Jawa the damage. Um, looks like three damage on that. Jawa. Yeah, so he must have he has yeah he did he took all three of damage because he can do two damage and a strain. And yeah. So you can decide not strains of damage and that's what he did for the Jawa. And again, it's so annoying because you're like Chopper gets to do it every round. And you don't want to stand anyone next to a terminal. So Hera's moving up. Again, Hera's someone I've been using recently. It's really, I like her ability to help your your teammates around you in their uh, attacking. Now, would you say uh, that John has gone really heavy on the support characters between Gideon, Hera, C three PO? Uh, hard to say because like I always feel like Gideon and and three PO are kind of almost mandatory in a rebel list because they're just so cheap for what they give you and that's the focus mostly right getting also yeah he's got you can use leader cards and he can also uh, make you move to in line of sight which is pretty good too but i really think people take those two because it's just automatic focus off the bat which gives you really good leverage for firing long shots it gives you it scares your opponent a little bit it also makes you think oh i better focus on the guy who's got the focus so I think it's great in a Rebel squad. I know I personally do like using Gideon in 3PO. Uh, it's really weird because for Imperial Assault, I don't know what it is, but I'm attracted to the Rebels. I love trying to make Rebel uh, units, but 
Oh, I remember you playing uh, Greedo, actually. Yeah. I, I remember seeing you at uh, Nationals in 20... Sorry, yeah. Not Nationals, uh, Worlds in 2016. Yeah, and I do uh, like Greedo. I like the scum, and I yeah. like Greedo, but I'm, in that list, I actually, it's funny, I took uh, 3PO and Gideon in my list. <laughs> so we're still just trying to move up here, and John looks... It's funny you mentioned Greedo, because I love Greedo's position right now. He's out of sight. He's not going to get hit on this round, likely. But he can pop out. He can open a door next round. Uh, like I said, I use the word doorman. I got that from Taylor Hansen. Yep. Because um, you don't you don't care so much if he dies. Right. You're kind of like, off, listen, right? I just need to open that door. And the good yeah. thing about Greedo is he has the parting shot. So that means when he's dead, he gets to shoot at something in his line of sight. And it doesn't have to be the same guy that shot him. So John just moves up the uh, troopers, which is interesting here. Um, he definitely doesn't feel like he needs to push them up. Uh, again, I maybe I'm wrong, but it kind of points to the fact that he probably has Son of Skywalker in his hands, in his hand, and he can move Luke up and do some damage. Now, wow. actually, this this Joker trooper that that John has here, uh, the Joker Smuggler, yeah, the Joker Smuggler. Yeah. Sorry, uh, man, this like now I'm, <laughs> I'm starting to think about ideal uh, camera placement. Yeah, I mean that that thing is well positioned. Yeah, if he places it maybe on that top room somewhere. He can catch a lot of those guys. He can, and he can still move, inside, right? He can yeah. still go. He can still move. Uh, you know, and get into a better position and then drop a camera yeah. as so, well. So I see that, you know, he opened the door on his side. Yeah. He still kept, uh, you know, Luke and and the C-3PO, that, that kind of squad over there, sort of carefully hidden behind the wall. It's yeah. very careful about not exposing anybody. But on the other hand, Kit's kind of been very aggressive, piling into that corridor. Um, you might see John perhaps uh, plant a camera in that top room and take advantage at least for one turn. I'm not going to doubt you because you call everything. I don't know. I, 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 do you not play, do you play this game? No, I because don't. you're probably right, dude. I can see at some point John wanted to plant a camera at that top just to just oh. to be able to, to get down that corridor. Well, the, the same principle will apply no, here it, man. because now he's probably you might want to place a camera down there. You call the dude. I think you're absolutely right. He's yeah. thinking. He's thinking. Place a camera in that corridor, and now anyone that gets in the corridor is going to be. Yeah. Wow. Maybe you should start playing that. <laughs> no, I'm selling your Armada I'll play Assault if you play Armada. <laughs> okay, gotcha. I'll, I'll make that pact with you. I will try it again. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, he's taking... Okay, did you change... Oh, he decided not to do that. I like that move. Because, really, it's just a smuggler. The door's yeah. closed. You put the camera down. I don't know. I like that move. But It's, it's still a very... Um, so he's he spread out his forces quite a bit without really exposing any yeah. one large group of uh, yeah. of um, units to his opponent's cameras. He's a so. very he's a very savvy and knowledgeable player. He's actually given me a lot of good tips before. I've gone to big tournaments, and one of the ones he gave me, and it sounds simple, but people don't always do it. Yeah. Oh, here goes Luke. It was just keep your squads together. So there you yeah. go. He has Luke. He's definitely got some of Skywalker. He's going to go in and do a lot of damage here. This is not going to be pretty, and I'm sure Kit knows what's happening here. Is so he going see. after Greedo? Or I think he's going after BT1. Because he can't hit Greedo because he's behind that wall. It's like a red. It's red. So he's actually behind a, um, a, a, um, a non-movable... Non uh, oh, he's rolls up. He's got a three again. Oh, beautiful. Look at these dice. Yeah, right showing, off, showing off his dice. Oh, he's pierce, he pierced three yeah. with the one surge. And he's got, it looks like, a couple, like, three damage. Three damage. Um... It's not too bad. I mean, BT looks like BT four damage took four on damage. BT, yeah. That's not bad. He gets ten health. So, and then now he is. I'm assuming he's going to play a son of Skywalker. There's no way John Chan is walking in there without it. Uh, looks like he's. So what does that do, son of Skywalker? So Skywalker, son of Skywalker, basically lets him activate again. So at the end of wow. an, at the end of an activation, he could basically activate Luke again. So he could activate Luke. And so what a lot of guys do, so like he'll John, swing and then just fade well, away. Well, yeah. Again, what right? a lot of guys yeah. like John do is they walk in, they attack, mm -hmm. then they play Son of Skywalker, and guess what? Now he can do Luke again. So you're basically murking a whole a whole character. But it looks and like... Because he has activation advantage over his opponent, he can just basically... That's why he waited until the very end. I to, think you're right. In fact, he... Do we know who has initiative? I didn't keep track no, of his the, initiative. the token, okay. I don't see it. It's kind yeah. of out of... Okay, maybe... Well, let's see what he's trying to... I think this is a... Uh, is it Barry? Force surge. Okay, so he's gonna basically do damage. Um, I can't remember the exact word. Uh, it's like two damage, I think, in a strain. Um, to let's see, I'm gonna 
Oh, yeah, so it does kill the Jawa because he does... Uh, oh, yeah, it's end of the activation. Yeah. He gets the one move, and then he gets to make a fossil figure suffer, too. So, yeah, he's basically a free kill of the Jawa. Nice. Jawa down. Yeah. Regular or elite? Um, that's a elite Jawa. For free? Yeah. Now, would you say that uh, John has put his loop in in a dangerous position there? Being I can tell you honestly people? right now, he knows at this point that Luke is so hard to kill right. that he's just like, I don't really care. I'm going to throw Luke in there, merc whoever I can, and run the heck out of there. He's also probably hoping he's got Son of Skywalker so he can do two major attacks with Luke before he's even dead. And if he has initiative next turn, he can just fade away, right? I th yeah, exactly. So if... If he's got initiative, you guarantee he's going to attack with Luke and run away. So Ken thinks that you, you should have gone for IG instead of... I'm surprised he didn't. Instead of Greedo, Greedo or BT? Yeah. yeah, I'm actually surprised he didn't. Um, maybe he's thinking what... I mean, what I when I talk to John about his Luke list, is he's thinking he goes in with Luke, does damage whatever he can as best as he can, and then he's basically going to run away either way. Yeah, maybe it's more about destroying, defeating a quantity of opponents rather yeah. than taking out one opponent. Yeah. Maybe increasing your activation advantage. Um, yeah. Look at him surveying the battlefield. To change it's the, the mind of a tactician right there. Yes, yeah, you're right. Uh, dude, I still can't get over his the paint jobs on is, his Is board. that the initiative token? Ah, uh, yes, it is. Okay, so it looks so like John does have John initiative. initiative. Okay, so that will mean that Kit will get it next turn. Unless he feels it. Okay, they're putting their cameras down now. So, Kit decided to put his next to BT1. So, it looks like uh, Kit can see maybe the smuggler and chopper. It's hard to tell here. Uh, probably just here. a smuggler with that camera. Well, and Luke, too, I think. He might even be able to see that ranger on the far end. I think he sees that ranger. Whoa, look at that. Luke putting oh, that camera right under Oh, dirty, IG. yeah. <laughs> So Luke puts on IG, he's going to get a ton that? of points for that. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 points, uh, I think? Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, I think, because he won't get Greedo, because Greedo's blocked, and he won't get the weak way behind. Oh, it's blocked by that. Yeah, he'll get 4 there. for that, I see. which is pretty darn good. Nice. Um, and let me just verify that they've got those points. Okay, so that's, yeah, VJ's just going to go over there and check to, to make sure how many points John got off that camera. We're gonna also figure out how many kit, how much kit got off this camera as well. So it's a very bold move by John, beginning the first round of the game by uh, sending sending in Luke, uh, killing one of his opponent's uh, models outright, dealing a lot of damage to BT. One for kit, four for John. Yeah, so that was indeed four points yep. and. Yeah, so he gets line of sight for Luke there because right. it's on the corner. Yeah, but he didn't. I guess he doesn't see the smuggler then. No, uh, they in that corner? yeah, they decide that he, he wouldn't catch that corner. So, uh, I think John's aggressive play really paid off that round. Yep, I agree, uh, and yep. it's making me just making me think I want to try Luke someday. I still haven't tried him <laughs> because I see John bring Luke to lots of tournaments and just use him like like a master. So, so there he goes with Luke again. This is again. in finishing off BT, perhaps I think. With the first attack, uh, yep. Okay, yeah, so that's probably going to so be one, enough. Two, three, four. So four. Yeah. yeah, that'll finish. That's exactly, I think that's exactly 10, isn't it? Wow. Or is, is it? I, I can't remember how you had on him there. Let's see, let's see. Is this is the second no, attack? No, okay, now it's the second attack to finish off BT. Yeah. And Oops. Oh, I knocked. I can't tell if that was indeed the... I think they're figuring there's so much, it doesn't matter. It's probably like, don't worry about it. So BT is dead. That's six points for John. That is a huge tempo swing. Yeah. So, you, you know, I thought when uh, when this, uh, no, he's this objective urgency. first started, I thought it was going to be a very sort of very... Um, kind of cat and mouse scenario where they were just yeah, going to I would agree. do a lot of positioning, but yeah. John I, sort of pressed the issue here. I would agree. I was actually surprised because, I okay, so I had a feeling John had Son of Skywalker, but clearly he didn't necessarily either have it or need to use it. So he still was bold enough to jo run Luke all the way in. He knows he's going to get some extra camera points, and he knows Luke probably isn't going to die. But I thought what you thought. I was like, okay, it's going to be some posturing. 
and then there might be a battle eventually round two in the middle. So he's going to walk his Luke. He used urgency and Luke's movement points to do uh, six. Uh, Luke moves four plus two, right? I think. Yeah. So he moved Luke six away. Four, five, six. Yeah. That's insane. If you think about what he just did, he went in, he killed, finished off, two I guess, guys. two guys, yeah. and then ran away. Like, and placed the camera for four points. <laughs> so it's insane how good Luke is. Now that camera can still be taken out, yes? Uh, cameras I believe can they have be HD. destroyed. I think they're four. I think it's four. I think they're four with one defense. Yeah. Yeah, one block. Four health and one defense. Yeah, so you could take them out. And you know what's funny you point that out? Is a lot of people don't do that. And I find it's actually a great idea. You take a guy who you know doesn't have a shot this round and say, forget it. Just take out a close camera and then it, it helps you in the end. Like at end game, you're, you're wishing you took out cameras earlier because I have had to do that a few times. So this is Kit, I think, shooting at maybe the smuggler or can he see? Uh, uh, let's see here. He's got a white die, so it could be the smaller. Oh, he wow. used Big tool hit. for the job. No range there. Oh wow! Yeah, He's shooting at Luke. It looks like, but he only has yeah, one range. Oh man, look at those triple, oh. <laughs> triple red threes. That's insane! Wow. Now, if that attack connected, oh. I mean, is, it, is there any way for him to increase the range? Uh, I think he must have. I think he must have. Let's see, one, one, two. Wow. Okay. Oh, it did connect. Jeez. It did because so, no, he surged for accuracy, I think, because. Uh, and that increases the range on I don't know, he can't surge. That surge is blocked. So I don't know how he. Was there a card he played? I didn't see that. Does IG, I don't think IG's got any innate accuracy. I'm trying to think how he would have pulled that off. Well, I'm sure uh, John would have caught it. Yeah, John would have said so. something. I mean, well, he might have, unless he was mesmerized by the, the, triple, <laughs> the triple threes there. Does IG have any innate? Yeah, he's a plus two accuracy. There you go. Uh, okay. See, I forgot because I haven't used him in so long. Thank you. DJ, you're our expert here. We're I know, it's terrible. You. It's terrible, eh? Oh, what's is this? Oh, the light, oh, line of sight. Uh, John's getting serious. Bring up the oh, laser boy. pointer now. Here oh we go. boy, here we go. <laughs> oh, for his ranger, I'm thinking. Okay, so he doesn't. Okay, interesting. And uses Gideon to focus up the one ranger and move Luke back two more. And I think that's probably why he was checking line of sight just to see what kind of shots IG could get after that. He also was probably thinking that he could um, focus up the other ranger instead, potentially, and then shoot at IG, but he's looking at his line of sight. So here comes in a weak way. One, is he just double moving? I don't know he got him in that far. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, he can get him in there. Okay, so weak way is taking a hidden focus shot at Luke, I'm assuming. So let's see. No. Yeah, at Luke. So he's getting his uh, surge block ready. Okay, and Luke rolls a blank. And the weak way, I mean, he loses the one uh, surge. So that's gone. And so the weak way can push for five damage. And he's got distance. So Luke takes another five. So Luke's at 12, and he's got 16 total. So he's got four more, and he's he's done. So those, are all, those tokens are all gone. You would say he's done his uh, his job, though, I think. Yeah, I, oh, yeah, absolutely. And that's why whenever you play against a Luke List, I do find it's like he goes in, he hacks, them, hacks some heads off, and then run, he can run away. And that's it's heartbreaking, dude. You literally are heartbroken. You're like, man. But now, look, he's drawing in uh, Kit into almost like crossfire in yeah. scenario. Set up, uh, you know, Luke standing on that other edge. All right, so he's keeping that guy for next round, looks like. I think it's a smart move. I mean, he's down a bit here already. I mean, if you think about it, even if you were to take out Luke, man, he's still got the Alliance Rangers left. He's still got uh, Hera who can put some damage.
John again thinking about what he wants to do here. And this is an activation of Smuggler, perhaps? Stone's activating his Rangers here. That's another weak way pirate in the, in the corner there, right? Yeah, just trying to see where he gets the line of sight from. Uh, this is more just to, just to try to entice him to draw him in. Of course, uh, even if all those all of Kit's units come into the corridor, they're still being seen by that camera. Plenty range. And it looks like maybe two damage is getting through with a surge, perhaps. No, here comes a reroll. Reroll gets another damage. Sorry, guys. Just a little TO work. So this is the ranger shooting at the weak wave pirate. Oh, using boy. on the land here. Oh, he's using or or Oh, that's actually what the question I had to answer. Yep. I just had to answer a question about on the land. And basically, what we had discussed earlier, that the attacker rolls. The defensor, defender can roll. And then you can just decide what your roll, if your roll is good enough or not, essentially. And then the attacker has to apply modifiers, and yep. then the defenders can say, oh, I'm now playing on the lamb, which I can move out of range or hide around a corner. And that just effectively cancels the it attack. Essentially, effectively cancels up. It could be a massive attack, That's too. an insane card. Yeah, like this, the table I just answered, the guy had, yeah. he had a red, a green, and a blue, and it was a massive amount of damage. Yeah. So like, oh. Take a shot at IG with the other ranger. Okay. All right, so see what you got here. So he looks like he... He's got a hit and two surges. Uh, that's not going to do... I mean, they got, I think they have a built-in Pierce 1 as well. Yeah, so he's talking about the Pierce 1 right now, but what about range? Does he have range? Yeah, he has plenty of range. Yeah, so that's okay. He doesn't, doesn't want to risk re-rolling and losing range. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So he's going to take the damage to IG. Was that six total? Or five, five damage. Five there. more damage. Yeah. Man, he's playing this really well. Here comes another uh, Alliance Ranger to take another shot at IG. And he, oh, see what he did there. He wanted to make sure he was at least four spaces away. So he was, he was allowed to reroll his attack dice. But in doing that, he wants to make sure that he still has line of sight, which I think he does. Um, let's see if they agree to that. I think he still does have line of sight. And is he playing any modifier or is he playing any cards? Doesn't look like he's ready to roll it up. Oh boy. I mean, what do you do here? I mean, it's not the greatest result. You want to re-roll something. He can re-roll two uh, both dice if he really wants to. He's going to re-roll the five. Ah, Nothing. boy, that hurts. Does he even have range at this point? I think it just makes it, eh? One, two, three, four, He's yeah. been a surge for three range. Yeah. And then and probably do no damage. Accuracy, it. Yeah, and then no damage. Oh, no, maybe does do this. 15 total, I think, on IG. 15 total? And, and IG gets uh, 17. He's, he's 50, got 15 more. Uh, it's the, doesn't he have the plus five? Oh, he has 15 damage, what you're saying. Yeah, okay. And then he moves up his ranger. Now I'm thinking here, I mean, IG's on, on his last legs, really. And because you have the, uh, you can't heal him because of the, the upgrade card is great, but it, it's an IG that can't heal himself now. In this situation, it would've been kind of cool. And focusing up Greedo with 3PO. So he must have focused him and then went, went a space further. Well, that's a good move. I mean, Greedo's only four points. You never know with a focus he can run in, attack somebody. Yeah. And then if for some reason, uh, well, he shoots first, right? So you, you go to attack and that guy gets to shoot first. And even if he kills you, you're still going to be able to shoot at him. He's moving 3PO up just to add a lot of defense to all these, all of his rebel crew. Puts a focus on Hera. Yeah. And, okay. 
so that leaves uh, who we left with Chopper, and it looks like Hera, and it looks like another the other smuggler. And Kit has his burrito still ready to go, and Jabba. So okay, let's see how many he got here. He's got. Okay, well, oh, Harris going for a shot. Sorry? Oh, yeah. All right, that's VJ just going to answer a judge call. So he'll be back in a minute. Meanwhile, it looks like Hera is doing a shot here. Triple block, so it doesn't look like, only looks like two damage going through. Oh, no. Yeah. Not going to be a very effective roll here. Four blocks, five hits. Now trying to figure out if there's any sort of rerolls he can do, perhaps. All right, let's see what happened here. So this is Luke, or is it Hera, perhaps? Oh, right, Hera yeah. shot. Yeah. Oh, looks like someone trying to get some nice pictures again there. Oh, he used, <laughs> he used um, positioning advantage, which adds uh, one extra hit. Nice. So is that enough to take down IG? Well, see, that's interesting, because I, I don't really only use that if I'm going to kill the person, but it looks like IG's not dead yet. So what, well, IG's health is what, 13, 12? Uh, no, IG, IG gets an extra 5 on top of his, right. uh, his normal, t uh, 10, normal 10, so yeah. he's 15. So it looks like he's only got 11 there, right? Or maybe some, there's another one under there? No, there's 11 damage on IG right there. Okay. So IG's still around. I mean, man, I know it's. I know he's already been activated, but yeah, he's still around. And I guess at this point, if IG's alive at the end of the round and and Kit gets initiative, that could shift the game a little bit. But to me, right now, John definitely looks like he has a really good advantage because man, you're not getting anywhere near Luke with that meat shield he's got around Luke. Yeah, you're not getting anywhere near him. So you basically just spent all your firepower attacking the guy who you're not going to kill. And it's it's possible, you know, you get close enough, Luke is just going to pop back out and just attack him. And pop yeah. Him cover. Now the only another good advantage, I suppose. Yeah. See, this is the situation where that camera is going to give John four points for just sticking around there. Yeah. Like it was like I was saying, like you sometimes regret it. And you're like, man, I should have shot that thing earlier. Oh, I'm sorry. No, the camera is going to give one, uh, two, two. Sorry, two. two. I, I'm looking at the wrong color. It's not three oh. points there? Uh, he's, he's got in the back there. So we'd get 3PO and we'd get Greedo. Oh, so here's no, no, Joker. John's uh, camera is this rebel one, isn't it? No, that's... Uh, oh, right, right. I mean, yes, that's, uh, right. that's the blue one. Yeah. And here goes jo Joker. Oh, Joker gets a terrible roll. I mean, what do you expect? Like, I don't think he's necessarily there to do any damage to anybody. Yeah. I think he just figured he might as well. Plus, he can also drop another camera. That's probably what he's thinking at the same time, because maybe he doesn't kill the Joker. John's still gonna m m use his, his uh, positioning. Yeah, I think that camera's still useful there. Yeah. Um, as opposed to up front. Yeah, because you can pop it on that corner and you'll get, I, you'll get, he'll get five points this round. So let's see, so he did the Joker move. Now, well, how is Kit gonna respond to this? I mean, you still got Greedo in a decent position to do some dirty work, but on who? I mean, he's really kind of in a in a, a jam here. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what happens next round, just because he's got a lot of firepower waiting. But it's really unfortunate that IG will likely be lost. And they, well, he's likely lost next round unless he runs away for some reason. And uh, unless he can pull some good card out here. So he's looking at his cards here. And I wish I could see. Ah, uh, here he goes. And he plays Blaze of Glory. And that's what I was wondering if he had. I was literally just trying to peek in his hand to see if he had that. That's the other double activation? Um, uh, he activates IG. Yeah, it's kind of like the Son of Skywalker yeah. for IG. But the thing is, here's what they're probably discussing right now. Yeah. He's supposed to take three damage, but it's at the end of the round. 
So he's actually allowed to keep IG alive until the end of the round, but now IG's dead. So IG's gonna be able to do Blaze of Glory, and he's gonna do something, he's gonna shoot at, looks like the Ranger, and then he's gonna, at the end of the round, be dead. And so here we go. He's going to, he's trying to decide what dice to die to use here. I'm assuming he's gonna use two red and a green, and we do. Oh, man. Weak. Not a good roll at all. Not the triple, not, not the triple th uh, reds he got last time. So he's going to do some, a couple damage, but nothing really that great. Now he's going to do the second attack that he can do. And he's using uh, 3PO and Hera. Yep. Sorry, 3PO, sorry. Uh, 3PO's ability. So I think maybe they're trying to figure out... John is just uh, wondering why he gets to attack again. Oh, right. Because he's so got... He didn't realize the free move and then the double attack. That's right. The free moves are the two. The two. Okay, that's a bit better. Um, still not amazing with that. Those two, the green and the red, are, are killing him there. So I think Kit's just getting very unlucky with the dice rolling, and John's really getting lucky. And he's adding the damage to IG, and then that will mean IG will be... Uh, or maybe he is still alive, because I, I, I didn't see how many total IG had on him, but I thought well, he, he was only there. has 11. Oh, okay, he only has 11, then I mean, he's fine. Because end of round, he'll take 3 damage, but he's not going to die anyways. Oh, and see, so he's moving up the smuggler to try and see if he can take more damage on IG, because then he's going to hope that end of round, he's dead. Let's see what smuggler's going to roll his two pea shooters at him, and it could be enough to kill him. Okay. Oh boy, that's gonna be two damage, and that's gonna end up being a dead IG at the end of the round because he's gonna get the. Was that only? I thought that was two damage. Green did put his block in. Ah, right, his block, his auto block. So that's gonna give him. Fifteen, yeah. So. Okay, I see what he's going to do here with Greedo. Maybe drop Greedo in or, or, uh, nice and deep to drop a camera. So uh, it's a great move here by Kit. And then you've got to focus Greedo and you're just daring people to shoot at you. Um, so Greedo can move pretty darn far, so I'm not sure why he's even... Yeah, there you go. And then drop a camera beside you and he's going to be able to get a lot of camera shots here. Now... Seven? Seven? I think you might be right. Let's see. One, two, four, five, six, seven. I think you're right. He drops that camera there. Man, that's a huge move. And it's just Greedo. I mean, he's still... And Greedo's tech is somewhat hard to kill. All right. It looks like he's played... Okay, John is. Oh, wow, that's a great roll. Wow. That's going to be great. Yeah. Wow, that's a crazy roll. I think it's mostly just because of my player's guy. Yeah. So, Greedo, Greedo takes four there, right? Uh, six? Wow. He had two on him already. Oh, right. Back. That's correct, yeah. So, he still has one left. So they're placing cameras now? Okay, here we go. So John has his nice smuggler in a nice position to get a couple extra points. So John is now at four. I think he'll get four, yeah. Because he's got the other camera as well. And then now... Four points for John. Yeah. And then see what Kit, what kind of magic Kit can pull here with that Greedo move. Yep. Oh, is he trying to point out that IG's dead? Yeah, IG should be dead. Because he has 12 on the board, and he gets 3 end of round, so he's dead. What order does it happen in? Well, it's supposed to be that the 3 comes at the end of round. Oh, what, so for the camera. What happens? Cameras go first. How do you know that? Uh, I just know that it's the when you do end of round effects, yeah. it's the game-based effects that go first. Like the actual, like, uh, good on top of that.
Yeah, we're just confirming whether IG will take the damage first and die. Thus denying John an extra point. You think that would have affected the placement of his camera? I hope so. So he'll get an extra point for having IG. How do you calculate line of sight? No, I, mean, I thought I knew line of sight. Line of sight is just you take one, you take a um, one point from your tar like your space, yeah. to two points on the targeting space without any obstructions. So like obviously that camera, it can hit three PO, but now it's blocked from everyone else. You could have put that in a better spot, I think. John or uh, yeah. Kit? Yeah. He got seven instead of the six that he has there. Yeah. And how many did Kit get? Uh, let me make sure they agreed on how many Kit got. He, he only got six. He only got six? Oh, okay. I just, I, if, it looked, if you put it beside Luke, it seems like he could have got seven. You're right, he would have. Yeah, side Luke, he would have got seven. Like right now, he's not he's not seeing Gideon, but if he had put it between Luke and the Ranger, he would get one more. Yeah, no, you're right, because he would have got there, 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 and Chopper. Or not Chopper, no. Six. Uh, it still would have been six. Chopper would have been blocked from the Greedo itself. So it's fine. Oh, yeah, right. So it still works out to six. It's still a nice move. The Greedo move is awesome. Why didn't he put it directly to his left? That's where I thought he was going to do it. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, possibly seven. Oh, because he would have got that guy too. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. He would have got the other smuggler. Well, John's definitely got what seems to be the upper hand right now with obviously IG gone. He's got all his Alliance Rangers with no damage, and man, those things are really hard to take down. So he's starting to clean up the, the board a little bit here. He's going to shoot at the Focus Weak Way. He doesn't want that thing lingering around. And he's going to reroll both those, I'm guessing. Yeah. Because he has four away, he can reroll. Okay, well, that's a much better roll. Yeah, he's got the range, and he's going to push damage. Oh, he's playing something here. Can he assassinate? Because he can with the hunters. Yeah, it looks like he got it's like about four or five there. I can't really make it out until John moves his hand. move to leave the, the Alliance Ranger like that. I wonder what card he's got coming, what he has in mind. Twenty-two minutes, guys, twenty-two minutes. Be right back. Greedo's taking a shot here. At Skywalker? I'm guessing. Oh I'm sorry. No blocks. Wasn't that great of a roll either. No, no. Maybe enough. Yeah. Sixteen health. So he needs to deal four more. Yes. Yeah, but he has. Or no, he has three a plus more. Two I, see. I see. Yeah. I see. Actually, it's it's thirteen damage on Skywalker. So yeah, this might be it for him. Wow. Yeah. Was that Greedo? Yeah. You're Greedo kidding me. Hero Greedo. <laughs> And the beauty of it is, Greedo can't attack him first. Because, you know, Greedo has that yeah. negative ability, which is when he attacks, he actually gets attacked first. Right. But because Luke is not in uh, range... Oh, a nice move. Wow. Wow. Kit, man, great right, so move. So now, now all of a sudden, Kit's in, uh, wow. Kit's in a bit of control here. Kit's got a little bit of control going on here. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. And that camera's still sitting there deep. It's weak way. Uh, it's got a little bit of work to do there. Wow. Give him points for that one. So at this point, I mean, again, those Rangers are still so strong is the problem. Yes. Yeah, and oh, there's a wow. significant uh, activation advantage. I'm on John's pretty side sure. Here. Did we miss? We might have missed it, but I think he um, deflected a shot at Greedo and killed him. No, Greedo's no, sitting, in the sitting over there. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm just wondering why his damage is still there. And okay, there he is. I'm sorry. So Greedo was able to do that and run away. It's insane. Wow. Now, did John deflect, or did he forget? Uh, looks like he forgot. Okay. Because I think Greedo was sitting with six damage before the attack anyway. Yeah, or maybe he chose not to deflect because then it would have been another shot from Greedo at somebody before he dies. Okay, so here he goes. Looks like he... Yeah. Yeah, that Ranger there, there has a ton of damage, so he might have lost an activation. Doing that. Yeah. So he killed the focused weak way, and I think what he did was he used, is that call of vanguard that he used? So he's going to get another uh, four points for killing that weak way. So I thought I thought that John had a super strong start, but it looks like um, Kit's kind of stabilized a bit. Now, I, as I did say earlier, there's still like what three or four figures on Kit's side versus John's. What? Yeah. All he's lost at this point is Skywalker. I think that's the only yeah. thing he's lost. Yeah. Yeah. At this point, it's I think it's a matter of time. I mean, they've done their ace trade. Like both their, yeah. their so-called queens are off the board now. Yeah, I think it's a matter of time. You're right. I, I think that's a good observation, Vic, is that he's got too many good players still on the board. Yeah. All he's got is a weak way because Greedo's pretty much dead. And so he's pretty much got a weak way to take on three Rangers, um, which most of them are, well, one's, one's, about, one's close to death, but not dead. And, uh, and I'm assuming C3 Grid doesn't really have any offensive power. No, either. and that's no. the thing. So he really doesn't have any offense anymore. And, and Java's going to sit in the corner. So it's pretty much a done deal, this game, is what I'm thinking. Uh, so, and he's going to use his uh, Ranger. Shoot at the weak way? Yeah. Why did he only roll one blue there at all? What did, did he, oh. Oh, it fell, oh, it fell out. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty good roll. Nice. It has to be three. And is he playing opportunistic? I wonder. Or sorry, um, assassinate here. I wonder. John's looking at his cards. I'm wondering if he's trying to play something here. Is he checking the movement? Yeah. So he's just giving him the damage. And Heart of Freedom is playing. So that's going to. Heart of Freedom. So he is making better positioning with the Rangers coming in for another attack. Oh man. He just used it to gain two movement points. Yeah. yeah. Recover two uh, hit points as yeah. well. He just, I think he just used it mainly for the, point, for the movement yep. points, yeah. Which is pretty smart. It's a good versatile card for the points. And it looks like he is really in control here. I mean, this game is, like you were saying earlier, so, yeah. it's a matter of time. is very different. Oh. Yeah. yeah, he took out a bunch of stuff, right? And then I think we missed the camera trigger at the end of the, yeah. one of the rounds. Yeah, right? yeah. Right? We missed the kill. Okay. So at this point... I mean, Kit doesn't necessarily even have very many moves. 
He only has one one character that attacks. Uh, well, I mean, technically Jabba is a melee attacker. Yeah. <laughs> but he's really... Ah, uh, they're just going to call it yeah. here. Okay. Well, well so, played. Yeah. John did it. John had a pretty... I mean, it was all about Luke, man. Let's face it. Luke goes in there. He pummels the crap out of you and then runs away laughing. I mean, John, Kit, Kit made a really great move with Greedo. Freaking loved that move. It was awesome. Came in, dropped the camera... Finished off Luke, ran away, and yep. survived as Greedo. That's pretty good for four points. Wow. So I'll give him credit for that. Otherwise, I mean, he is playing against the national champ. He did a great job against the national champ, current national champ. Maybe he'll win the national champs. Who knows? So, yeah, that's it. So, so would you say uh, with that win, he's basically secured his uh, <laughs> his reputation as national champ? Well, or? not only that, but he's oh. won the store championship yeah. with yeah. that win? Okay. So I would say, John, congratulations, John. You won the 401 Games store championship. It was an awesome day for you going 4-0, dude. Perfect. 